Guys, so I just wanted to let you know about my uh, job situation. Um, in January, I got a job working at Spar in Dolier Street. Um, but I got fired uh, on Thursday, um, just three days ago. And um, it was a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, um, I was there two months. No one ever told me that I wasn't doing a good enough job. No one ever complained that uh, I was underperforming or anything. Just um, two, two months in... All right. Um, the manager, who's actually quite new to the store, um, he invited me into his office, and um, he sits me down and just says, "Mark, I don't think it's gonna work out because he's from South Africa. He's got that kind of accent." And um, and I was a bit shocked. I was like, "What? It's the first time anyone's ever told me." <laughs> you know, I would imagine that you know if you're gonna fire someone, at least you should give them a warning first. And um, you know, uh, he says, "Look, we just don't have the time to to nurture you. We're so busy right now." Busy? Is that a joke? Like, it's never been quieter because of this lockdown thing. All right, they tell me that normally they make about 10 grand a day in sales. Right now, they're making about two grand. So, yeah, I don't think it's busy. Um, You know, I hear you talking to other people in the shop floor saying, oh, can't wait to explore Dublin and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, uh, one time, you know, when I was in your office, uh, I heard you uh, talking on the phone. You're talking to somebody about your uh, television at home. It wasn't, there's was a problem with your television, apparently. And I'm like, geez, I don't think you're overly busy. I do. Th I think you have a bit of time to, to nurture people, okay? Um, but anyway, so, um, you know, I asked him for an example of where I was underperforming. And um, to be honest, he probably wasn't expecting this type of question. He said, oh, well, there was two times where... Um, you didn't clean the kiosk to a high enough standard. And I was thinking, wait a second. Um, a while back, there was this guy. He was walking past the store. And he saw these two like um, people in the store. And he threw a beer can from outside the store. And the beer can, it missed the two people standing in the store. But it went into the fridge, the fridge of yogurts. It hit the yogurts, made a massive mess. And uh, yeah, I was made to clean that up. And uh, the manager did say to me, a different manager said to me that... Um, you know, I didn't clean it well enough. There was still a few, like, stains to the side or something. I asked him, was that the occasion? And um, he couldn't really answer that question. He said, look, Mark, no, it's just it's just not going to work out. And, um, you know, uh, I said, Magella saw it as well. She wasn't happy and uh, and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so uh, he told me that was my last day. It was the Thursday. Um, you know, I think I was about an hour into my shift. It's only a four-hour shift because I'm, I'm only on part-time hours. And... Uh, you know, he, he seemed to go home shortly after um, uh, he had that meeting with me, um, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm thinking, geez, I've here two months. Surely you'd wait out the three months, but no. Anyway, I didn't bother arguing. I'm like, fuck it, man. Sure, there's so many other places I can apply to, you know. Uh, but you're just a bit confused. You're there thinking, geez, what am I going to do now? It's just, it's all out of, it just came out of the blue like that, you know. Um, all right, but I, I don't believe that. I don't believe me not cleaning the kiosk to a high enough standard was the reason he fired me. Um, I, res I believe the reason he fired me was because he wanted to save money uh, by reducing um, money on wages. Very quiet there. We don't have enough to do. Like, well, a lot of the time we're just standing there twiddling our thumbs, not really doing anything. So, yeah, we're not. he's not too busy to nurture me, obviously. Um, you know, if you're going to tell a lie like that, I feel like you should at least... Tell a plausible lie. You did a very bad job of, of lying there. Um, the, the way it works is um, last in is the first to go. If, if they have to get rid of you for um, reasons other than performance. So, yeah, the newest guy um, in the sh shop, uh, he got fired the week before me. And since he was gone, I became the, the newest guy in the shop. So they got rid of me then. Um, that's just how it works. The other guy, uh, he was actually... The funny thing about the other guy is he was actually a manager himself. All right, now the guy ahead of him is like, he's like the manager of that store that I was in and another store. So he's like the manager of two stores while um, the other guy who got fired, he's only the manager of the one store. Now the good thing about that is that guy, he got offered a job in security and he uh, got into a, a row with one guy. A bit of ketchup on my lip there. Uh, but he got into a bit of a row with one guy and uh, he ended up getting his, uh, he ended up like breaking a ligament in his finger, he said. He said ligament, but I think he meant a bone in his um, thumb. And um, he was out for, was it two weeks? And he came back and he told the manager uh, at a different store, Dame Street. Um, he said, look, I don't think this is the right job for me. I get too nervous. I got injured there. And um, so out of the blue, she offered him a job as a manager. And he never even, he was working in security. So he never really worked as a regular spar worker. 
and she said she'd give him three months to train to become a manager. But he became manager of my store after two weeks of training. See, there's one other guy there. Uh, they, the manager at my store, they sent him off to a different store. And um, so they brought this guy in. And, um, you know, so, th so yeah, he told me he got fired a uh, week before I got fired. And he said, oh, it's probably because, um, you know, I um, they don't have time to train me in properly. Um, he's, he's not able to do the job well enough. And I'm th looking back now, I'm thinking he's a bit naive to think that's the reason. I mean, look, it's so quiet right now. You have so much time to train them and, uh, you know, it's not busy at all. Like, the real reason is they're just trying to reduce labours. They're losing money on wages and stuff, so they're trying to get rid of us. Um, so, so basically, that's what happened, okay? So, yeah, I went home Thursday night. Not sure what I was going to do. Had to do some thinking. Because, um, as I said before, this kind of happened out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it at all, so... Anyway, I was actually thinking, right, I'm thinking maybe I'll move to a different county. I've been thinking of doing that for a while. Um, which county? I don't know, but a county outside Dublin. Um, you know, smaller town somewhere, whether that be, I don't know, Wexford, Sligo, Cavan, uh, Athlone, uh, fucking Waterford, wherever. I was just, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't care. I just wanted to leave Dublin. But then I thought, no, that's not a good idea. You see, look... With this coronavirus situation, everything's locked down. Um, it's uh, there's nothing, nothing on really. It'd be very hard to find a job. It'd be hard to find a job in Dublin. Never mind the fucking small town out the country. All right, could everything be closed? Um, do you know what I mean? So there wouldn't be that many places open. So you might be waiting a while before you can actually find a job. So I'm thinking, I'm in the capital now. There's uh, still loads of places I can apply to here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, instead of moving to a different county, I'm gonna stay in Dublin for the time being at least. Uh, at least until this coronavirus thing kind of calms down a bit and everything opens up. Um, so, yeah, I decided to do that. Um, Saturday night, I travelled to my mother's house, um, Carrick Mines, to print out some CVs. I printed out 50 CVs. Today, from there, I handed out 25 of those. I'm going to hand out the other 25 tomorrow. If I still don't get a job after getting handing out all those 50 CVs, then I'm going to um, go back to mother's house and print out more CVs, okay? So, um, yeah, here it is, my jolly old CV. <laughs> You know, uh, looks pretty good, does it? You know, per oh, I just gave you some personal information. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, so I hand out twenty five CVs today, tomorrow under twenty five, and yeah, that's the thing. If you get fired from a job, you know, um, I'm sure some of you watch this video might never been fired from a job, but some of you would have. I think the best thing you can do is just get another job as quickly as you can. You know, even if the next day it means just printing out CVs, getting out, handing them out, uh, be proactive. You know, because if you if you don't if you're not proactive, then you're just gonna be thinking about the time you got fired too much, and it's gonna affect your confidence the longer you um don't do anything about it. So yeah, I think if you just uh, be proactive, start looking for jobs again, then you'll forget about what happened in the last job. You know, it's a great way to um refresh your mind and think about something else. Do you know what I mean? Um, I got fired from a job in construction. This was how long ago? Uh, April 2019, I got fired after a week on a construction site, uh, this was on a Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday I didn't apply for jobs because, um, well, we didn't have, at that time we didn't have a printer at my mother's house and uh, the libraries were closed so I had to wait till Monday morning. Monday morning, printed out some CVs, went to the town, handed out some CVs, handed out 25, um, and then the next, the Tuesday I had, I got another 25 CVs at the library. I went. To, oh, I handed them out. Um, I handed out a CV to McDonald's and Carrick Mines, and the manager, you know, he actually hired me on the spot. He gave me an interview there on the spot, and he hired me. And I, I worked there for a year and nine months. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing. You know, um, getting fired. There's nothing wrong with getting fired as long as you respond well. Do you know what I mean? Um, and besides, you know, um, I remember uh, when I got fired from that construction site, my supervisor was giving out to me all the time. Um. When I was uh, working at my, uh, McDonald's, there was one other guy who got fired after three months. Um, he was working in the lobby. He used to just practically do nothing, pretty much. The place was a mess. He'd just be sitting around. His, his girlfriend would be sitting down in a chair, and they'd be talking to each other while the restaurant would be in a mess. He made no, very little effort. And people got very frustrated with him. They were um, get, they were talking about him behind his back. They were um, getting frustrated with him. He wasn't very popular there at all because he made everybody else's life more difficult. You know, I didn't sense that at all when I worked at the spa. There's no signs or signals that I wasn't doing a good enough job, that I was that other people were frustrated. Um, yeah, so it was just purely a tactical decision, nothing to do with my performance. So, 
Yeah, you gotta question these things. Sometimes, you know, these people do lie. Um, 